Hey guys, it's lunch and learn. It's almost dinner. Well, <coughs> let's talk. So, let's talk to all these insurance agents out here. I have been meeting quite a few insurance agents, and one of the biggest problems they say they've been having was support. They were not getting enough support from their upline or they feel like their company just wasn't out in the trenches with them and they felt like they were alone. And I have something to say about that. You have an opportunity to do something that you've always had the opportunity to do as long as you were alive. And it's called open your mouth. Now, I don't know about you, but that test was not easy, nor was that license easy to obtain. So why would you stay in a company that you feel like you're not getting no support? Why? And number two, if your company is not giving you support, why do you feel I want to mentor you to go hire to help that company that's not helping you out with nothing to elevate? Because 10 times out of 10, if you're not getting that support, there's no real money involved. There's no real money involved in the business. I'm just going to keep it real. When people want to see you make money and there's a lot of money in the business, you're going to have a support system. Because they understand that if you make money, the company makes money. So they're going to literally hold your hand to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do. So I've had a couple of comments under some of my videos and they were like, they got hired by another company and they were really asking me to mentor them. I can't do that. I can only mentor the people that that are in my company because one, we may be a totally different company. Two, the products that we offer your company may not offer it and vice versa. So it just it just doesn't make sense and and I really I really hate to see people <coughs> continue, excuse me, to push themselves so hard for a company that's not really trying to see you win. They're just trying to make you build along the totem pole and That is something that a lot of people like to overlook. I think you shouldn't overlook that. I think you should pay attention. And number one, I think you should take your time so valuable that you refuse to be with a company that's not supporting you. If that company is not supporting you, checking on on you every day, sometimes even getting in a car with you to help you, you got a problem. Now, I must say, my company is all about teamwork. I'm a team player. Anyone who has came in under me, I walk with them. I talk to them daily. I push them. And if I have any prospects that is going to be in a multiplicity, they're coming with me because I want to see them win and I want to see myself win. So it just is what it is. Now, I have heard people say that some of their companies that they have joined have required them to recruit people before they even got their license. Like, I mean, recruit people to get policies. And that is a slap in the face because if I'm going to school to get my license to make money, I understand the the, the concept of not letting a person go without insurance, but come on, you're going to take my first clients for me? So I'm, I'm just going to give you my first clients before I even get my license And then those people that are depending on your knowledge is going to overlook me because I've now given you my clients. Like, that don't make sense. It just doesn't. Now, if you hear anybody, everybody got the same story. Their company is the best company in the world. I will tell you, my company is the best company in the nation. Um, We do start with a percentage that a lot of people have called themselves disagreeing with. I think it's a joke that people have actually gotten mad and said, uh, your commission is not enough. When in fact, they're telling themselves or they're listening to people tell them you, they're starting at 100% commission. 
So you starting at 100% commission. You haven't had no training. You're going into people's homes, unqualified, unexperienced, unknowledgeable. And these people are not even holding your hand while you're going to these clients. So the chances of you even making money to make the 100% commission is extremely slim because you have lost the client because you can't get nobody on the phone to support you while you're trying to close the deal. Or the company is trying to force you to go under weeks and weeks and weeks of class after you got your license. You're going broke. You're waiting to get started and you're still not making any headway. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Um, that was not my experience when I got my license and I started getting my contracting numbers. I was able to start writing immediately. And the reason why I was able to write immediately because the way my company structure is set up, we have a senior broker that knows all of the companies in and out carriers, correction. They know all the carriers in and out and they are also on hand to ask any underwriting questions and they assist you with placing the policy plus you get a big commission. Now in my company, we get commissions 48 to 60 hours after we wrote the policy. We do get an advance. That's one thing about life insurance that a lot of other companies don't give you. We we usually get our commission up front for that year. Um, we are able to be licensed in multiple states. Um, I'm, I'm licensed in four states, working on my fifth one right now. Uh, and that came naturally with me talking about life insurance to multiple people. So if you know anything about life, when you meet people, even if they got insurance and they think you know what you're talking about, they're going to recommend you to some family members, friends, and guess what the chances are? Not necessarily is this person going to be living in the state that you live in. So in order for you to write the policy for them, you have to be licensed in their state. So naturally, you have a resident license. And as a broker, you can get what we call a non-resident license. You apply for that. In about two days, you got your license after you pay for it. This is real life. I have team members that go out of town and write policies. When they get bored of being in their home state, they go on a vacation and because they have their credentials, they go for like a day or two, believe it or not, and they write a policy. I was actually, my first experience with a non-resident, my daughter wanted to go to Houston for her birthday. And while we were out there, I got a call that two people in Houston needed to be written. And I paid for my license. <coughs> and I wrote those two people and I got commission before I even got back in town. So this is what life insurance affords you. Now, the overnight success. The overnight success is not going to come unless you learn something. My company is big on education. My company is huge on education, okay? Huge. They're going to educate you. We're going to constantly talk about the underwriting for certain uh, carriers. We have what we call Underwriting Friday. We talk to each other every day. We have group calls. We have... Uh, 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 what do you call it? Acting out where, you know, sometimes we do scenarios. Um, we listen to success stories and we find out what did they do that we possibly didn't do. And we've tried again. We do have leads. We have a lead system, but not all the time are you going to write a policy with leads. Like in the beginning, I didn't write policies mostly with leads. I wrote policies mostly by not being a secret service agent and speaking to people out in public. Okay. When it comes to that license, I went to another uh, school some years back and it was a terrible experience. I felt I couldn't learn off of the program. I felt that the school was not good for me and I opted out quickly and it was depressing because I thought actually something was wrong with me. But then when I found this company, or this company found me rather, and I started taking the course with this company, it was online, same thing as the other company. It was learn as you go, but guess what? I learned and picked up everything quickly. Um, I was able with the life insurance after I took the health part off, because if you see my previous videos, I tell you about 
how I was trying to do life and health together and it just didn't work out for me. So I ended up um, taking the health off and I went back and took the life. And I, I passed everything in two weeks, literally. And I had to take the course again. I had to take the course again. And in the course, we have a chapter, a test, a chapter, a test, a chapter, a test, a chapter, a test. And then at the end, we have three simulator tests at the end. And I've had people ask me questions about the simulator. A simulator is a, 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 a test that composed of questions similar to the state exam. So after you finish all your quizzes for each chapter, I call them a test, but they're quizzes. After you finish a quiz for each um, chapter, you're going to have the simulator test at the end, and you're going to take the simulator test over and over again until you make a score. Then after you take the test over and over and over until you make the score, you're going to make a note of note. You're going to make a list of notes. And what I did to challenge myself, I wrote all of the lists on Word program without looking at the course just to see what all I memorized and I got up here. And I had like about two and a half, three pages of notes. And then that's when I went and I took the test. And I passed the test. And after that, I had to get my license. I had to pay for it. And then I had to pay for fingerprinting because you're dealing with people's personal information. <coughs> and I don't think a lot of people understand that. You got these people's social security number, their birth date, you got their bank account. You got everything. So you have to take a fingerprint and background check. And then you have to take an anti-money laundering course. That's not long. That's just probably like a, I took a day. It was a day. Cause it's not long. It's probably about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Take an anti-money laundering course. Then after you take that, um, you're finished. And then now you're, you're going for contracting and then going for contracting uh, you're writing an application. The application is going to be submit to all the carriers, and then you're going to be considered for um, working with the companies. And then you start getting your writing numbers, and once you get your writing numbers, you're in there. So I do offer insurance through up to 10 different carriers. That's the competitiveness about our company versus other companies because you got other companies they're working for one carrier and the only thing they can offer is what that one carrier offer whereas that's not my story so I can offer multiple things whereas some people cannot offer multiple things they can only offer what their insurance company offer and when it's over that's that and they're sitting up there wondering why they're not making no money it's because you, you're you not the majority. So when you're selling insurance, and remember now, life insurance is for everybody. It's for children and adults and elderly. So you're selling to children, adults, and elderly. You're meeting people with all kinds of different health conditions, all kinds of different uh, criminal backgrounds, everything that would be consisted of writing a policy, and you only offer one carrier. You're shooting yourself in the foot. And I'm not trying to take away from these other carriers because that's not my place. But I will say this. I'd rather have a supermarket than a corner store. I'd rather have a supermarket than a corner store. So <clears throat> if you're in Georgia and you think you would be interested in hearing more about the company, you need to give me a call at 404-645-1922. Um, if you're out of the state of Georgia... I have people that have came in a company with me. They're out of the state of Georgia. You can call me at 404-645-1922. But the reason why I ask if you're in Georgia is because April 24th at 10 a.m. in Lawrenceville, we're going to have a speaker come down. Uh, he's actually my upline. Um, this is not an MLM. I'm going to say it again. This is not an MLM. I know what an MLM is. I've sold organic gold. I've sold the waist trainer. I've sold the skinny tee. I've sold um, the body magic. I've sold all of that stuff. So I know what a network marketing marketing company is. And FYI, I don't need 
to have anybody join my team to make the money that I'm making right now. That's the number one thing about MLM. In order for you to make certain amount of dollars and consistently make it and own your business, that means that client that you signed up, that is your client for the rest of their life. That means when their policy is about to lapse or there's a mishap in their payment or if they want to change the beneficiary or if they want to change anything on that policy, they're not going to call the carrier. They're going to call you and you, the policy writer, is going to call the carrier and you're going to get the situation straight for them. You own your business. That is not MLM, okay? That's not MLM. So we're not an MLM. So if you're in Georgia, we're going to be meeting at 10 o'clock on April 24th. You need to hit me up so I can put you in there, okay? Be blessed. Let's make this money. And let's ensure some people that need us.